option, penetration kills you on first down. So a little movement, get your second long, get your third long, all of a sudden you're punting and the tempo works against you because your defense is out there too much because those three plays, those 16 second plays go really fast if you don't have a fourth one and a fifth one and a sixth one. It was interesting listening to Rich Rodriguez explain the offense, but he knows how to stop this offense because basically he's the genius behind this offense. How the other kids for Ohio State? All it takes is one misstep by a defender, it can be over. It can be all over but the shot. When you've got speed on the outside, you've got Tyler coming back healthy, you've got Byron Marshall on the outside, Marcus Mariota, Royce Freeman, the speed that they have, and the tempo that they run, all it takes is one small mistake defensively. All over the yeah, that's the truth. This offense relies on eye candy, and there's a lot of moving pieces. You've got receivers moving across, faking jet sweeps or faking handoffs, linemen are pulling, going in motion, and as a defense, if you don't have your eyes in the right place, ball gets run right by your face or it gets thrown over your head. And guys, you don't have enough time to line up and flip corners like Coach Holtz was saying. you got to get lined up really fast. You've got to bend your knees, and that's harder in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. We, fought, we saw Florida State give in to it a little bit. They started getting behind. I thought they pressed a little bit in that third quarter, and then all of a sudden the game got out of control because that's what Oregon will do. All of a sudden you'll look up, you're a little tired, you're not quite as disciplined, your eyes are looking at that receiver, the misdirection they use, you jump on the bubble screen you've seen six times for a little bubble pump, and all of a sudden, Oregon's rolling. You've got to stop them on first and second down and get them off the field on third down or they eat you alive. That's a really meaty conversation here with what Rich Rod brought up and what you guys observed. And once again, Mayday unflappable here as we pass the halfway point of countdown and kickoff. Ten ten He's tough. The crowd ten keeps ten calling ten out. Ten ten but Mayday, you have such a busy day tomorrow. You're going to be such a big part of our coverage of the college football playoff national championship game. So. We want you to get some rest. You've given your all here, but in doing so, you really should say goodbye to the adoring crowd here before you leave. You should go out with them. <laughs> Keep watching the ESPN. Thank you. Great job tonight, Thank Mark. You. We will continue with championship drive. Countdown to kickoff. Many days off to catch some Z's. Plenty more to come, though. So many voices to be heard. We're going to break this game down every week.